hey guys welcome back to the channel and today as you seen the title of an update for you guys so yes i've seen all of your comments my reply to whom could i reply to and for all, all who dm'd me my reply to all and the message them whom could i reply to we have a lot more if you go through and stuff like that let me just say that and even me and lucy was talking about it last night say can you imagine oh if i never talk about my situation how many persons how many females out there are going in, going through the same thing or who has who already got through it already oh, and who got through it in more than somebody when we get messages from read the comments from and them are going through the same thing similar things right and it is impressive because i couldn't believe that so many theme is whether you give birth before or you're taking the injection or whatever can't believe that all of you guys are going through that who don't know somebody i got through you are got through it. oh my god yes a female go through a lot let me say that for first females go through a lot and that's why me eat when man take advantage of females and feel like say oh no okay, can put in a hand for females because female body go through a lot especially after pregnancy it is not easy right so big up to everybody missy put them like a two cents for the comments missy nurses in the comment section my people have see people have put them two cents very very and stuff like that and me soon that some people say um probably i eat when i eat healthy i eat healthy i eat meat once a week only on sunday meat meat right uh, made vegetable as you know Lucia farmer so made cabbage colorloo all of those stuff and stuff like that sweet potato yam and then stuff like that you know junk food we can't remember last time we got KFC last time we got KFC was to do a video with Adiana right so we eat healthy we drink a lot of water so yeah um so yes so I'm basically tell you how the doctor visit went today right so luckily, I have my links them over hospital, so um, I go early, I still go early, whatever, whether or not I have links or whatever, but I go early, get um, number three, and when I went there, it was a while, guys, don't mind the thing in the background, they might build house up there, so, so mm -hmm. they might do foundation and all of that stuff, so it's going to be nice, right? Yeah. So I um, went in to the doctor. It was a long wait. It was a long wait because we reached there seven, seven o'clock, six no six forty seven, and me have to sit there. Me never get up, eat nothing in the morning, so me be kind of dizzy. And them start eight o'clock. But when they start eight o'clock, doctor did in a meeting, so it's another long wait again. So after waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting went into the doctor but i think those two doctors um they are new on the job yeah like them just come out of college and new on the job so them said them i'm gonna examine me first and then we go to the other doctor right so basically when my me file no my file is like me never know so my file could have big so hospital <laughs> sorry to say but i laugh or nothing but me never know so my file could have big so hospital the the young lady wrote three pages of what i explained to her today in detail detail everything go down because you know you could have sit down and exact um talk everything has been happening and them questioning and stuff like that so uh most i think that i'm telling no probably don't know everything because that three page i want me say i couldn't believe it so so much right um went in they asked me some questions um told me to take out my clothes they're going to examine me i was feeling some abdominal pain they look at my eyes um they test something on my finger i'm not sure what that that was not sure what that was um i did a blood test from the other day so i gave them that they said the, the blood test is okay as they can see it's, it's okay um after writing and writing checks everything they explained to me examine me and examine my vaginal ear and stuff like that right down when they write down like, that was a long write down so most of it are mostly write down write down write down she asked me question write down she asked me question write down and they test me 
test my blood pressure um, ask me of any like back history family history and stuff like that right which I don't know if my family have any sickness okay um, then um, I went I went out back si out, outside my mother-in-law um, was at the hospital so she came to see me and bought something to eat yeah so that could have helped me because made it very made it kind of weak that are the only thing me, me sorry said me never eat before me left over because me want to catch the place early me leave out extremely early but that's that um after that the doctor came me and he said he's going to examine me again um up and examine you know the, the doc, bigger doctor them them know more right after examining me, he told me to take off my clothes already again. So I take off my clothes and he says he's going to examine my vaginal area and my buttocks, which is the back part. Right? And examining examining my buttocks now, he realized that I Well she I look for me. Yeah, me not for talk. Yeah, be. Right. You can't talk to me alone. Put in there. Me never say enough time. Tell if talk. We want talk in your video. Me must say you experience and you know where you are going to share from me and I share. But we don't. We put it out there already. So not knowing that. Mm, we just we have to to laugh. I have to try use it. Make fun. Say doctor. Touch me. Anyways. 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 Um. Examine my buttocks now because we can't talk the word buttocks. Um. He realized that I have a sister, so they call it? Pile. Pile, yeah. But you don't say you use another name? Yeah, he used another name. I'm not sure if it's sister are the right word where they use in a them word, but it says a pile, which they use it in a them, for them doctor word, right? Mm -hmm. He said it's big, um, and I have a lot of swelling in that part. You use a strength for no, um, sure? I was explaining to him last year, but I explained to him that last year I did a strain a lot. Yes, pregnant? when I did pregnant, I did a strain a lot and it stopped. Since I start bleeding now, I explained to him say, my flow of feces is good. Mm -hmm. I don't force it, but when I do, I bleed. Mm -hmm. So I'm saying I'm going to examine that part. When he examined that part, he said, the reason why I'm bleeding is because I, the, the, the pile is very big and there is a swelling around that area mm. so about three of them went there that was the experience yeah. about, could be. Could be. <laughs> about about could three be. of them about three of them went there he said he's going to do a surgery to take it out but no yes but as I said but he gave me some holy medication which can last me until me go back to the doctor to, to the clinic again and then when he examined me when we go back he give me out him say let me tell you what exactly what the doctor said he said that we don't rush in rush into a surgery like that do your surgery like that because surgery is a life and death situation and especially on your bottom you don't know if you can sit on it for a long while so he's trying to give me an easier way which is going to give me the medication well, if I medication too, which I could feel because it's hella expensive, so I have to take off when my money could afford. Yeah, and tell them, say, listen, I come back for the next half when I have money, so that could have gone. I can go and use that for your time. But um, he gave me some medication and said that when I come back on the next visit, if the swelling doesn't go down and the pile is still there, well, still big. You know, pile over where it does go back up in here. Yeah. Um, then they have no other choice but to do the surgery because that can, the swelling alone is dangerous. Next is the bleeding from the vaginal ear, right? He said that um, it's, it gave me a, a thing to go to my doctor to do with the guy now because he said that they cannot do that. I have to go to my gyno, which my gyno is done, done that part. But when I call my gyno, them said the machine did finish. So hopefully when I call them, the machine did done. So hopefully when I call them back, 
the machine fixed so me can go there because I don't want to go to any other guy because him used to me, him used to me history. Right? Me I go to somebody where I've made that kit already and stuff like that. I don't want to go to no new guy now and them. Then give me a bunch of things. Him used to me, him used to me during your pregnancy and stuff like that. So I'm going to go back to my guy now and they will um test me from there. But he said when he feel my abdomen all down at the bottom of my belly it feel a little fatness like fibers when they test the vaginal area because they test the vaginal area as well he realized that it can be fibers but he said that he's not going to um he's going to let my him and, him and my gyno speak so i gave him my gynecologist number so when i go there then there will doctors and doctors vice versa right so they said that that the, the 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 pain in the vaginal area and stuff like that they can't really do anything about it because it's for my gynecologist to um do my blood test or me have blood tests to do i have two blood tests to do and doctor visit at the gyno and a next what they call that what they call it lucy ultrasound not ultrasound ultrasound uh, ultrasound as well and the what do you call the thing that you check for uh, like anything else? Where did you tell me about it? You did tell me about it being. I don't remember. Mm -hmm. When you got a guy now, you check for see if you have cancer, them stuff there. Eh? Oh, cervical cancer? Yeah, where you, where you call it? The, 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 the pap smear. Pap smear, yes. So I have two blood tests to do pap smear, ultrasound, plus doctor visit, right? So I gave the doctor my gynecologist number. They're going to um, vice versa. So when I go to my gynecologist, I'm going to do all of that test, test, test. And then they will send over my docket to the gyno. That gyno will send over for them docket to them. And then they will correspond. After figuring out and confirming mm -hmm. if I have fibers or if it's that big or it needs surgery, then by that time, if I go back to the doctor, then they will do the two surgery which would be are uh, do the the, the, the the pill because he said that um if the fibers is not that big then it can take out by medication which medication you fix it out and rubbery. but he said that if it's it it grow if it grows bad at the time by the heart because i'm going back to the doctor in um two months time Two months time and going back that's why i gave me so many medication to take so if i go back to the doctor and then the fiber grows the cyst grows then i have to do two surgery surgeries to take out the cyst which is the that and the fibers so yeah that's basically it so the doctor over hospital and the gynecologist is going to correspond with my dockets and see exactly what is going on in my body they gave me some medication to cool down the the, the, the the bleeding which i'm not bleeding now so i'm going to still take them but for the for the thing in my bottom he gave me a little medication for that i did um fill all of them because they don't have the money to fill everything but i did fill some the, the pharmacy said i could fill half of it in the meantime so i did fill half so yeah that's basically it so i hope and pray that this pill work and i don't want to do no bottom surgery and then me have to go sleep remember i said my pain was hard place yeah. so it can be that and when i defecate it is very big. Remember, I said always big and it always hurt. No, 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 oh, no, 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 well, you don't know. You wouldn't know. But it big and it always hurt because me even tell the doctor said it hurt me real bad. So yeah, so they are going to take out that because even the doctor was saying, "You want to do the surgery? You want to do the surgery? I put your life at jeopardy. You want to do the surgery? Because I could give you a, po a, a, a appointment by by next week and you do the surgery and just take it." I may say no, doctor. Please give me the medication. Let me try it and see if and him say the medication for some persons don't normally work because especially like oh may have um like have something 
like what as well sometimes you know normally work because him they might give me the option mm. they are giving me the options right so they might say if if it's a 60 to 40 percent chance it might work because you know work for most people people mm. like and I'll come back and still have to do the surgery but he said it's going to work he's going to try the medication with me first mm -hmm. to see if exactly but he know that it's a possibility that I might come back and end up doing the surgery but I can't manage the bottom part well, now, holding them mm? holding them they're going to take it out because he almost take it out today I said him go right up in there and feel it you know and feel the fatness you know the, the, the swelling of it around oh. there, you know, right? Because even when them are feel it around, I feel the, the, the pain. Mm -hmm. it, the pain is there, you feel the fatness around it. So it's swelling. Then with the fibers now, it's that, that is giving me the bleeding plus the belly pain. So he said, I should go to my guy now, do all of that stuff, come back to him, and then they will do the vice versa thing. You uh, find the time when you lift go to the back, the ring you for the injection, you never go. Cause you know if you no pain, funny day it pass, everything just start to kind of No, but normal. when I went in there today, I start to feel some belly pain, and then they, they you know, drink it tea. Yeah, they are. Um, when for you know go back. Then they, the, the, the doctor, push down something on my belly, and I start to feel some extreme pain. Hmm. Yes, I start to feel some pain, cause even when I um when I come out, my mother in law was like, "Who oh, you work so?" Cause it was so painful to them feel because they more feel exactly what is happening mm. so yeah that's it so you guys that's basically it and yeah my prayer mm. me not, me not like them surgery thing here because them surgery thing here is in the hospital all one week but i want to get better i want to get better for my child i want to live to see my child and i don't want it to grow I I just want everything to be over with. I just want this thing to come out of my system, both the back and the front, as you, if you understand what I mean. Yeah, both the back and the front, I want this thing to just come out of my system and over with. So, um, I have to get in contact with my guy now tomorrow because the time is already late and they lock already. So, tomorrow I'm going to call my guy now and let him set up an early appointment date for me. Which is next week because today is Wednesday, so Thursday, Friday, mm, I don't know, probably Monday. So, um, yeah, gyno, do blood tests, which me eat ultrasound, not bad, and then pop smear, yeah. So, they're going yes, step by, yeah. Mm, but then I'm afraid, who wants so, <laughs> want to finish come to that? You know, we know, quickly got that we wish the way that I mean, they did we now go. Yeah, we're going to go here and talk about the entire book. You know, I for my father, my father will never do a prostate test yet. And he reached the age when he should not do it. I don't know why we want for the doctor, man. So, I've been doing each step, step by step. Because they, 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 the, first, the first blood test that I did, they said they don't know if something like my white blood cell has deteriorated or stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So, I have to do a next two more blood tests. Two blood tests, which two different blood tests, the ultrasound and that. So, pray for me, guys. It's not easy. Me I go back and forth for hospital. I'm doing like that. But guys, I am strong. Me not make nothing get me down. I am really strong. When you man tell me me just a look at me, me even forget what I say because me no want go break down in front of nobody. Yeah, then worse, me never have nobody close to me if you say have a lean a shoulder or stuff like that. And so, so yes, guys. I'm going to leave everything here, and um, the next two weeks or three weeks time, that I can give you guys that update and stuff that is happening and stuff is that yeah. So, bye, guys. Love you, guys. It's a prayer for me. I see the comments. I see. I see the comments, and I see the DMs. I'm going to reply to everything as best as possible. Love you guys. Bye.